Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroader. As you can see, we've got some new motive power. We've got a little SW1, and that's gonna be kind of our Silva to uh, East Whittier power, I think. And then it'll do some switching down here at Silva. So we've got some uh, cars here. I've already sent the coal train off. In fact, I think it's already up at Robinson Gap. We got a lot going on in the railroad here. It's getting to be a handful for just one guy. Yeah, we've got that up there. And the passenger train has made its run to Silva. So that's where we're at for today. And this is day 26. So a lot's already happened this morning. We got an early start. But I took all the, the coal cars and the copper hoppers as the one train behind the two Jeeps. That already went out. The leftovers this guy is going to deal with. So let's hop in there. And we'll get started with the work. So we're going to have to do a little bit of shuffling here. You can ignore that car back there. It was slightly outside the interchange, so it didn't get picked up. That's an outbound. But what do we have here? We've got a bunch of Whittier sawmill stuff. And then on the very back here, we have a uh, Hollyfield heating oil. So that's all going to Whittier. And then we have this uh, Wilmot House track, which is going to be a little tricky because it's a facing point spur on the way out. Uh, I'm going to see what the grade is like. We might be able to use some kind of flying switch move to get it in there. If not, we'll stick it in on the way back. And then we got our uh, Ella farm supply. And then we've got some new pulpwood cars. So I want to go ahead and get some pulpwood before I accept a contract down here. And then we'll see how that goes because these are going to go up to Connolly Creek and get uh, pulpwood. So we're going to go ahead and send them out, even though they don't have anywhere to go yet. So that is the plan. I think what I'm going to do is grab this car and put it on the front so I can try my fancy switch move with just that car. And uh, we'll go from there. There's a lot of trees here at the interchange. They kind of get in the way. Uh, let's go ahead and set the brake on that. This guy is in manual. Perfect. We've got our light on. Is that on dim? Yep, it's on dim. So we will pull up and grab that on the front, and then the rest of these cars will go on the back of the train. That's the plan, anyway. How strong is your brake? Pretty strong. And lock onto that. You can see I went ahead and color matched it with the Jeeps. <laughs> so we're all the same yellow color. Quite a bit of detail on this little switcher. It's of uh, handrails and whatnot. Come on back. I'm not used to running it. There we go. All right. We're going to hook you up. I'm going to leave this guy here. Kind of seems like notch one is almost idle. Maybe that's how these diesels were. I'm used to running like GP38s and stuff on front eight. So I'm not used to these first generation diesels. Yeah, apparently we're going to need a little more air than that. Come on, car. How much is in here? 40 tons. Brake systems are just so different from what I'm used to with Run 8.
but I want to get going too fast. Probably break something. But I enjoy the logistics, so a lot of times I have Al drive. Mr. Albert Inman, he's our AI. Al for short. Well, this could be tricky. Let's go ahead and get some air on. Go. That'll do. I'll right, we'll get you hooked up. Let's just have a clapper. Oh, yeah. So the clapper is powered, or whatever you call the the dangly thing. Load them up, move them out. So then this stuff will all get dropped off. Basically the back of the train will get dropped off at uh, East Whittier. And we'll pick up whatever we got coming back this direction. Yep, too aggressive. I guess the more cars we have, the more braking power we have. So it kind of adds up. Yeah, it stops right now. We're far enough ahead. You got to get the uh, the knuckle past the points for that to work. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty poor horn work there. Let's try that again. Hey, there we go. That was that was pretty pathetic. Lock onto the back of the train here. Then that's not, yeah, that's not coupled. They just spawned them right there close. And I decided to go with these lighter weight cars. They both, they hold the same amount. If you get uh, this or the other bulkhead. I think it's a, uh, I forget what it's called now. Let's not crash into the thing. Yeah, so these are the F50 flat car. And then they have the pulp wood rack. Same cost, same capacity. I went with these because they're lighter. Empty weight is lighter. And I'm going to just ease it on back. This is a level here, right? Yeah, this is a level track. And let's see, we'll go ahead and knock the handbrake off of that. We have no handbrakes there. There we go. Should be good. No handbrakes on the uh, bulk. No, not bulkhead. What are these called again? I've already lost track. These are the bulkhead flat car. So they're basically just a flat car. And they're built up with some bulkheads. Hence the name. And then uh, the wood gets piled on there. All right, let's get on out of here. Light on full. Yeah, 
And I don't know for sure what our track speed is down here. It looks like it's not marked. Sweet. I don't think we're speeding at all. So we've got all kinds of gizwax in here. Don't know why we have four levers there. Somebody probably knows in the comment. That's our reverser and our throttle. Oh, if you get the right handle. Okay, independent and train brake. What are these? Oh, that's the bell. Is that the bell? Okay, so that controls the air to the bell. What's this do? Nothing? I'm not sure. We got a door, though. Alright, where are we going? We're going this direction. So the plan is to get some pulp wood down here and ready to rock. And then probably open up a contract with the tannery and we'll kind of start there. See what they need. I don't want to go too much because there's already a lot to do every day on the railroad. But anywho, our first stop is at Wilmot. Wilmot? Wilmot? Which is up there, a few miles down the road. Just before Thomas Valley. And you can see we have the uh, facing point switches we need to deliver to one of those. I'm assuming because it says... Yeah, Wilmot House Track. So, wherever that is. Actually, let's just go take a look. So, locations. Wilmot Station. House Track. So, if I click this. Doink. Yeah, it's that little, uh, the littlest track. So, we need to deliver that first car right there. So that is the plan. Uh, I want to get a little bit of a run. So I want to stop back kind of there. Possibly even further back. And what's our, uh, what's our gradient looking like? Oh, it's flat. Okay, good. We're not going to be like trying to switch on the fly going uphill or anything crazy like that. Yeah, this is all nice and flat. Beautiful. There's the morning passenger train. It already made it down here. And I think 30's, 30's probably good. So I should get Al driving this thing. Tell him to go 30, and then I forgot to throw that, so. We'll let him go on through. And I'll see you on up the track. Alrighty, Al got us up here to Wilmot. And we're going to get the train stopped. We're going to cut off this car. Bleed the brakes so it's free rolling. And then we're going to try to kick it. Or not kick. I know, people are going to get upset because I said kick. We're going to make it go onto that track. <laughs> the the, uh, the normal smart way would be to drop it off on the way back. But where's the fun in that? Alright, good job, Al. Excellent work as usual. So we want to tie on some handbrakes. This is flat, so two should be plenty. And then I want to open that coupler. And Al, I'm going to go ahead and take over. And then I want to ease forward just a bit. That'll do. Alright, we'll set that in the middle. 
All right, how do we? Oops, how do we get out of here? Squeeze out past that. So then I want to shut this, and we're going to blow all the air out of this car and bleed the brakes. So we want it to be free rolling. There we go. And we'll see if we can get this to work first try. Wait, is that the... Okay, that's the seat. Is that the horn? What is? All right, cool. Get rid of that flare. So the idea is I'm going to accelerate the car. Uh, I think 10 miles an hour should be plenty. And then we need to accelerate away from the car so we can go through the switch straight and then throw the switch so it goes back in there and then stop it before it crashes into the end of the track. Piece of cake, right? Yeah, piece of cake. No problem. Not a problem at all. Get that up to about 10-ish miles an hour. Let her engine go flying by. Throw the old switcheroo. And then we want to grab this car. Follow that. And then we hope we have enough momentum to get back in this siding here. And since this is flat, we should be all right. There we go. Let's double check its track. track. And then there's not much room for error, so apply the brakes. Oh, look at that. Just, just perfect. There we go. And we get paid. Excellent. That worked out. So we'll go ahead and back up. And we'll continue on our merry little way. So all these are going to Whittier Sawmill. We basically just need to drop this off at East Whittier Yard. And then the, uh, the Whittier local take care of the rest. And then we'll probably hang out there because we're going to have some cars coming back. We've already got uh, some lumber and stuff that's coming back this way. So we'll hang out and then we'll probably make an evening return. And I don't know how well that's going to work out. You know, once we have stuff to do down at Silva, we'll see. Adjustments might need to be made. I could even send the stuff with the coal drag to drop off at East Whittier and then run up to like these places with the Silva local. Rather than go having it go all the way to East Whittier. Okay, breaks off. Lots of trees around here. Here we go. Okay, Al, take her away, good sir. We'll head on up to uh, East Whittier. And here we are at East Whittier. So we've got this on the track. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to turn this engine. We'll just run backwards, maybe back. 
the silver. But I need to get it out of the way, so let's apply a handbrake. A couple from there. Slow him down before he takes off. <laughs> uh, we still got plenty of fuel. Wondering where I should stick this thing out of the way. Maybe just back here on one of these tracks. I might need that run around track while I'm working the yard with the local. So I think I'll just have him hang out here at East Whittier. And I'll let the Whittier local do the, do the shuffling around. So the plan for this diesel is, like I said, to be the Silva local. It may or may not bring stuff up here to East Whittier. We'll see how it works out. Hey, I'm going to get tied up over here at the platform of the repair shed. Doesn't need repair, so we're good. And I think that'll be it for this video. Still having a lot of fun with Railroader. Uh, it does take a lot of time, but we're getting there. I want to get Silva, at least a couple industries in Silva going. That might mean I need to drop some of the others. So we'll see. But we're going to keep, for sure, the coal and copper going. And I think the, uh, the East Whittier sawmill, those are kind of our three mainstays. Our main money makers. Yeah, he's all set to go right back in there. That's perfect. So there we have it. Thanks as always for watching, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.